So you can laminate your sheets and you can get a laminator from Walmart, Target, even Amazon. I think they're like only $20. And so what you can do with these sheets, your inventory sheets, you can laminate one or you can just keep it a paper copy. Or with the labels, what you can do is you can laminate it or you can just use like that 3M tape, which I don't have any around right now from the Dollar Tree. That tape, I really like that tape. It's really sticky, it's sturdy, really good. You can get laminating pouches from any office supply store, Walmart or Target. But I like to get mine from Aldi. I knew I had several, so I didn't need any. But sometimes they mark these down because people don't purchase them. But they're only like $5. So they don't have these all the time. And they also sometimes they have a laminator. So this is the 3M tape I'm talking about at Dollar Tree and they have it usually in the front. Sometimes it's in the back but usually it's in the front where the packing stuff is and I have all of the labels that I need. I don't need all of them that I created for you guys. Um, I don't need the diabetic or the extra band-aids right now or vitamins but you all may need the extra ones. Um, Cottrell does have asthma, but I don't really have too many asthma medications. Like if he was younger, I wouldn't need that label. So use the ones that you need, cut them out. And if you don't have a laminator, um, the very first time I did this, I just used a 3M tape. I cut it out and I used this as like a label. So now I'm gonna attach the see vitamins to the side of it so you can easily find it and it's up to you if you want to do I'm not sure how you're storing storing your items but you can do it on the side you can do both sides you can do it at the top if you want but usually how I had this in place for a really long time I just have it on one side and that works so these containers came from the Dollar Tree and sometimes I think they do get them back but I had them for a really 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 long time and then those are the shoe containers I'm sure you guys seen those but these have came back several times but I had these before I even had my channel so they've been out oh, yeah I had these a long time and they're still holding up okay guys and this is the project all done and I like how it came out. It is exactly how I had it over nine years ago, <laughs> nine, eight years ago. And it works for me, it works for us. And I like the refresh labels. It was really easy to do. Sometimes I can procrastinate because procrastinate. I actually did this on Saturday organizing it. And I just had to print out the labels and just do it and show you guys. So this project was only cost a dollar. I had everything already on hand. Again, I had the containers for many, many years, even before I had the system in place, before I even had my channel. And I think I was watching Alejandra and I got the idea from her way back in the day. So um, the only thing that was a dollar was this image that it says band-aids you guys is lighter on camera the lighting is really good in the bathroom but it was a dollar that I had to pay for the image but other than that um, I could have did some off of Google but yeah you're not really supposed to do that especially if you're giving them away to other people you're not supposed to do that period but anyway so I have a medical inventory sheet over here it's laminated and I need to get a little pen and probably put it in that drawer. I'll show you guys how I organized up here and my other little ladder over there. But yeah, I love it. So we have our vitamins, band-aids, over-the-counter medicine. We were buying a lot of duplicates. 
um, because simply stuff was like some stuff was up here some of it was downstairs in the cabinet I needed to go through that stuff so we had like a lot of duplicates like vitamins um, pain relievers and stuff like that um, ointments a lot of cold medicine for like Saya and pain reliever we had duplicates of that so in the ointments and sprays I keep our sunscreen and some blocking stuff during the summer and I need to throw all those out so it's not really anything in there I had those way too long and some prescription meds down there which is not much and some over-the-counter meds I'm not really concerned about Josiah coming in here messing usually if someone had surgery or some kind of pain med that is like hydrocortone or I haven't had Percocet I think I'm the only one that may have had that for like after having a baby or something like that they really control that stuff now so they don't give you a whole lot if we do have some left over I know Cottrell had some when he had surgery when we no longer need that we get rid of it and the proper way to get rid of it is take it back to your pharmacy so not put it down the toilet or the drain so we learned that from Cottrell's PT this particular cabinet I had for many many years from Walmart and actually the magnet on it is super strong I'm trying to think is it two magnets no it's just one so it's super strong I need to touch it up I probably need to repaint it but I had a really long time and sometimes it's so strong that I have to take my hands to open it instead of the knob there so again I'm not really concerned about Josiah coming in here messing with anything usually someone is always in the room Justin loves to hang out in the room or I can hear them when they come in my room or um, yeah it's just he doesn't really and the kids never really bothered it so I can usually tell when they come in the room or come in our bathroom it's like Fort Knox in here so this was a really really um, inexpensive organizing so if you have to do it yourself um, it depends on how much medication you have let's um, let's see four five six seven eight eight dollars for the containers at Dollar Tree paper you usually have your paper and stuff like that even if you don't have a printer you can just get a sheet of paper and write out the words and then use some tape and cover it up like that so yeah and even if you don't have a printer you can go to your local library it's probably pricey now and make copies you know back in the day even though printers don't cost that much but I understand been there done that and guys I hope you enjoyed this video down in the description box I'll make sure that I put a link to my free resource library that you can have access to these printables and any other ones that I have in the resource library so thanks so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the very next video bye bye